right now over here you can see that there's a 3D model that as I rotate around around the edges you can see that there's a bit of a jagged lines over there so it not, might not be very prominent right here so I'm going to turn the resolution on to quarter and now you can see the jaggedness is all there now this is a really um, fast way to work with but it's not actually preferable for rendering so you can see that there's this jagged lines all over there so what they need to do is we need to work with something called sampling and super sampling so in order to do that i'm going to go on to the output menu right here and you can see that over here on um on the output menu i can find multi sampling and super sampling so i can also enable enhanced uh, multi-sampling that will um, enhance the sampling process right here so I'm gonna go into multi-sampling and right now it's set to zero let me just choose one and you'll be able to see the difference you can see that it's much more smoother you can also increase the super sampling and it's even more smoother as you can see even in the quarter view right here so as you increase the sampling uh, it actually makes the model much more smoother as you can see right here but uh, the more smoother it is the more processing time it takes so if I were to move it around you can see that it is already slowing down so now on the full mode like the um, the rendering is actually very high quality you can see that it is all smooth around but this would be turned off while you're editing because it really slows down the thing so once you're ready to um, render everything out you might want to increase the multi sampling level so that the output turns out smooth so that is how you can work with multi sampling and super sim sampling inside of element 3 hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe